hi everyone in today's video we are going to solve a problem insert interval so it's a variation of merge overlapping intervals problem which i already explained in my previous video tutorial and the link of that video tutorial is present in the description box so in this video as usual first we will understand the problem statement then we will discuss its approach and finally we will write its java code so let's start with the problem statement so in this problem we have given a list of non overlapping intervals where each interval has two parts start and end time also the intervals are sorted by their start time so so first we have given the non overlapping intervals and second it is sorted by their start time so what we have to do is we have to insert a new interval at the correct position and merge all necessary intervals to return a list that has no overlapping intervals so let's understand this problem statement through multiple examples so in the first example we have given the intervals and a new interval so let's visualize this example so let me draw the x axis and just let's mark the points so this is 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 6 7 8 and 9 so now first let's plot these <coughs> intervals so first one is this one and this is the first interval then second 5 to 7 this is the second interval and third this is from 8 to 9 so you can see uh, uh, these all these intervals are non overlapping right now we have given this new interval which is from 0.4 to 6 correct so what we have to do so we have to insert a new interval at the correct position and then merge all necessary intervals to return a list that has no overlapping intervals so this interval is fine it is not overlapping this interval is fine it is not overlapping but these two intervals are overlapping so we have to merge them and once we merge them we get a new interval which is one is four and this seven right so when we return a list we have to return a list which has no overlapping intervals so the first interval is one three then after merging it the new interval is four seven and then the third interval which is eight nine so this is the output right now let's move to the second example in this example so again we have given these intervals and a new interval which is from 0.4 to 10 so to understand this let me again just draw it and it is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so the first interval is 0 0.1 to 3 the second one is 0 0.5 to 7 and the third one is 0 0.8 to 9 and the new interval which we have to insert is 0 0.4 to 10 right so again let's see this is non overlapping but these two intervals overlap with this interval right so after merging all these intervals we get a new interval which is from 0.4 to 10 so 5 and 7 lies between 4 and 10 and 8 and 9 also lies between this 4 and 10 so we return this output now let's move to the third example for this let me use this plotting so uh, the first interval is 0 0.2 to 3 the second interval is 0 0.5 to 7 and the new interval is 4.1 to 4 
so in this example this interval is fine it is not overlapping with any other interval but this interval i mean 2 3 is overlapping with 1 4 so the new interval we can form as 1 4 in which 2 and 3 lies between 1 and 4 so we return this output 1 and 1 4 and 5 7 now i hope you understood the problem statement so the next part is let's discuss how we can approach this problem and finally we will write its java code let's discuss how we can solve this problem and before moving to the solution part let's quickly revisit some important points which will help us to solve this problem efficiently the first one is we have given a list of non overlapping intervals remember this is the important point the second one is the intervals are sorted by their start time right and what we have to do is we have to merge overlapping intervals and return non overlapping intervals right so these are the important pointers and uh, to solve this problem i have uh, taken this example in which we have given this list of intervals and the new intervals right so let me plot this in this line so the first interval is from point 1 to 3 the second interval is from point 5 to 7 and the third interval is from point 8 to 9 and this the new interval is from point four to six so this is our problem statement now how do we approach this problem right so what we have to do what we have to achieve we have to achieve merge the overlapping intervals after inserting this new interval and return the non overlapping part right so the first simplest thing we can do is to skip all the intervals which comes before the new interval and they are not overlapping with them so if you see this interval it comes before this new interval and also it is not overlapping with the new interval so we can simply skip them by skipping i mean we can simply add them in our output list so let me write one three here but how do we identify this i mean let's say in terms of code how do we identify it so we can simply say the end part of this interval is less than the start part of the new interval right so the end part is here the end part is 3 and the start part of the new interval is 4 so you can simply say this interval if it is less than it is not overlapping with the new interval and also it comes before the new interval so simply skip them and add them in the output list right now comes the interesting part where we have to merge the overlapping intervals intervals like this and how do we identify uh, whether these two intervals are overlapping or not so in the first part we simply skip all the non overlapping intervals and also which comes before the new interval right so now to identify this if we simply compare the start part of this interval so the start part is let's say 5 with the end part of the new interval which is 6 right so if this condition is true right if this condition is true it means it overlaps at as we have already filtered the non overlapping intervals so these are i mean these intervals are overlapping now the next question comes so okay now it's overlapping so how do we merge it so to merge it we have to take let's say the start part of the new interval is 4 and the start part of this interval is 5 so we have to take the minimum between these two which is 4 and the end part of this interval is 6 and the end part of this interval is 7 
तो मैक्स एंड द मैक्स बिटवीन दीज टू राइट सो वी गेट फोर सेवन आफ्टर मर्जिंग इट एंड इफ देर इज अनदर इंटरवल विच ओवरलैप्स दे आर वी हैव टू रिपीट द सेम स्टेप राइट ओके लेट्स मूव टू वन मोर केस सो देर आर फ्यू इंटरवल्स विच आर विच आर नॉट ओवरलैप हेयर एंड विच कम्स आफ्टर द न्यू इंटरवल फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस वन एट नाइन इज नॉट ओवरलैपिंग हेयर एंड इट कम्स आफ्टर द न्यू इंटरवल सो वी कैन सिंपली एड दैम इन आर आउटपुट लिस्ट सो the second interval we have added here is 47 and after this interval 89 so now if you see we get the output list in which we have merged the overlapping intervals and after merging them we are returning this list which does not have any overlapping intervals so we are returning non overlapping intervals after merging them right so this is the intuition or uh, this is how we can approach this problem so this is one way definitely if you have any better way to solve this problem please go ahead let's talk about the time complexity so the time complexity of this approach is big o of n as we are uh, traversing this interval part exactly once right so let's move to the code section so uh, here if you uh, see this class so uh, i mean it represent the interval so interval has two attribute the start time so it is represented by start and the end time which is represented by end and in this function if you see uh, the signature uh, we have given two arguments the list of intervals and the new interval and we have to return uh, the list which have non overlapping intervals right so so let's move uh, the code step by step so first here i have declared the output list and uh, so uh, i have declared the merge intervals it returns the output and the index part just for the traversal of the intervals the first part is so here we tra traverse this intervals and skip all intervals which comes before the new interval and it's not overlapping with them so exactly this part which i have explained so we simply traverse it we are incrementing the uh, the index the value of index that we have uh, moved till this point and we are adding the intervals in the output list so first let's say the index is 0 we move this and it is not overlapping with 4 6 so we have added them in our output list and we have incremented its value so now the index is pointing at this index right next comes merging part right if the new interval overlaps with the existing intervals we have to merge them so again uh, so i have already explained uh, this part where we check if the start of the interval is less than equal to the end of the new interval so it's overlapping as we have already filter out the non overlapping part right then what we are doing here is we take the mean between the for a start part we are taking the mean because we have to start with the mean as we have to make a interval which start from the minimum part and goes up to the maximum part and for max we are taking the max between these two and why why while loop because if there are multiple intervals which are overlapping we have to repeat this step and also we are incrementing the value of index part so after merging it now it move points to 
this part 8 9 and definitely this condition is not true so we came out of this loop and we have added the merge part so the merge part here is 4 7 right and then this condition is basically if there comes an interval after merging it which does not overlap with any of the intervals and it comes after the new interval we can simply add them in our output list so uh, this is this part right and after this uh, we simply return our output so if i just drop it and let's move it we are simply returning the merge interval parts so that's it in this tutorial and i hope you understand uh, this uh, this problem and their solution part and definitely uh, there are more variation of this problem like conflicting appointment right um, minimum uh, platform uh, where we have given the train schedules right so uh, in in upcoming tutorials i'll try to cover uh, the variation of this problems and for this video that's it for today's video thank you for watching this video tutorial please like and subscribe this video uh, video uh, uh, this youtube channel and please share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you thank you very much for your time